is Jeff Haig with EnviroGreen Spray Foam Insulation. We're doing another case study in a house over in the heart of Lakeview on General Diaz. The homeowner, Joey, consulted with us, called us back uh, a few months ago in November of 2009. And he was saying, you know what, Jeff? I'm pulling up my floors. My floors are buckling. My baseboards are full of molds. Uh, my relative, he has, a, he has a wonderful high efficiency 16 sear dehumidification AC system in his house. He should be getting his relative humidity down into the 50s, low 50s, but he's not even able to do that. He can't get it underneath the 60s. With the buckling of floors, he's been smelling mold and mildew in some of the rooms. Um, they're feeling the dampness on some of his baseboards, and it's all obvious. After you take a look at it, it's very obvious why all this is happening. He's had so many contractors come through here, among other spray foam contractors, saying, oh yeah, open cell, it's going to fix the problem, or you just want to let it breathe even more underneath. I mean, if you look around the house as we we'll walk around, this house is breathing plenty. It's not the breathing issue. It's because, he, again, so much water vapor is underneath his house that all this water vapor, and there's other, other things that are happening in his house too. There's a, he has a slight depressurization that's occurring in his house because he, was, he had two mechanical turbines on top of his attic that was trying to suck too much air out of his attic, but the soffits weren't open. That was depressurizing the house, forcing all that, all that moisture from underneath to come in. So there's other things, there's a lot of, a lot of culprits to his problem. But he figured, he knows after doing his own research, and we talked, he looked at some of our other videos, he realized closed cell is obviously the way to go to stop the moisture intrusion and all the mold and mildew. In fact, he's almost finished putting all his walls back together and all his floors back down. And now that he's just invested thousands of dollars on, on fixing everything that was messed, we're putting two inches of a proper 245 FA blown closed cell foam underneath his house. And by doing that, that's going to create his perm rating of less than one. That is your code approved vapor diffuser retarder. And now that he put his, his house back together, he's not going to have this problem anymore. Joey's already taken a lot of steps towards trying to fix this problem. For example, something that should be done underneath the house. This is his dryer vents. Now, this wasn't here before. This is leading back into the utility room. This is so he's exhausting. All. Think of all, when you're drying your clothes, they're full of water. You gotta exhaust that, that steam somewhere. That moisture has to come out somewhere. A lot of houses just have that facing right underneath their house and, all that, and you are just pumping moisture underneath your house. So he figured, let's try one thing. And he vented his dryer, his, his very humid air out of the dryer outside of the perimeter of the house. Another thing he did is he put, uh, in our climate, uh, you know, four mil plus is what's recommended. For four mil plus plastic or visqueen is what's recommended to stop the moisture from coming up from the ground. Because think about it, the ground holds a lot of water. I mean, if you take two glasses of water, uh, two glasses of water, and one you fill with a lot of dirt, and this one you don't, you're going to see the water in here, but you might not see the water in this one anymore that has the dirt in it. That dirt is a sponge for water, and it's always underneath this house. So if you put a four mil plus visqueen, that becomes a vapor retarder, and it stops the flow of vapor coming up from the ground. In fact, a lot of a lot of times you can pull this visqueen right back especially when you get further down into the middle of the house and usually the ground sinks in. That's, that's the way it is with most New Orleans houses. It begins to sink in. We raise this up here, but down there it just keep, continues to sink in. And you pull up that visqueen and you'll just see water droplets all underneath it. Those water droplets are there because the moisture is going from the, the, from the ground into the crawl space. It wants to move that way. It wants to escape, but it can't get past that. So by putting the visqueen down there, He's limiting some of the flow of moisture. He's also put fans out here around some of his, uh, around his perimeter of the house to try to suck some of the moisture out. But you don't just suck moisture out. You suck moisture out, you're still pulling outside relative humidity underneath the house. Um, so he's, he's taken a lot of steps to try to fix it, but he's realized even after doing all these things, he still has problems. And that's when we started to talk about it.